Yo, what is up, loud and proud crowd? Hopefully you guys are doing absolutely fantastic. Thank you guys so much for everybody who participated in that giveaway. You guys are the ones that really just really, really, really push everything forward and make all of the, the dream work happen. So I really appreciate that. And we are actually going to be getting a new car today. Now this car isn't really gonna be like an item for the channel. It's not really gonna be like something that I'm buying for content or for the YouTube channel in general and or anything for like a giveaway. It's, it's not that type of a purchase. This purchase is something though that I honestly need at this current moment and it's something that I can use and it's going to pay for itself very much so. Um, and you guys will you guys will understand a little bit more what I'm talking about here very very soon But anyways, hopefully you guys enjoy the video I know it's um, the car is not gonna be quite what you guys are probably thinking I think some people think I got like a like a cool muscle car or something crazy, but it's not it's more of like a necessity for being financially smart at the current moment um, with what I'm driving day in and day out, especially when taking long trips to see that lovely lady right there in those pictures. So um, one of those types of deals. So don't give me a hard time about it, but uh, I got nothing to prove and this is a, this is a move that I wanted to make and uh, that I felt like is a good decision to make um, to put a little bit less money into a fuel tank and a little bit more money into the channel. Now I'm probably gonna go through and explain a couple things about this vehicle and why I'm getting it. Before we actually have the vehicle in our possession and the reason for that is it might be dark by the time we actually have the paper signed and are taking this thing home. The reason for buying this vehicle, A, right now every weekend approximately I put about, I wanna say four-ish hours behind the wheel, sometimes five or six combined with what driving I do on the weekends, and it adds up really quick. Like I said, in the previous month, I spent over $1,200 in diesel fuel um, traveling and driving, going to Ohio for hunting and seeing my girlfriend and back and forth, and I do a lot of cruising, a lot of, lot of driving, and getting, you know, 12 to 15 miles a gallon cruising is not, not really what I can do. And like this truck right now is averaging 16 um, with an average of 10 miles per gallon at my current driving stage. So it's just not, it's just not what I need. And now even if I get an OBS or even if, you know, I got a new Duramax or even if I got to keep this truck, I want to build this truck and I want to build the OBS that I'm buying. Or if I don't get to keep this truck, either way, if I have the red first in and the OBS, neither of those trucks are really going to be like fuel efficient, practical vehicles for me to be just cruising and racking a ton of miles on. Let you know, let alone do I want to buy a cool classic mint OBS Ford or take my red first in and just cruise in that thing all freaking weekend, you know, back and forth and back and forth putting miles on it. So my move was, you know, to hold off on the Duramax for a little bit because I mean the down payment alone on that for me would have been like 25 grand and instead put more focus on the OBS build and then get a car with almost pretty much no money down. I just, I'm just gonna make payments on it and just put tons of miles on that instead of whatever cool trucks that I either have that I'm currently working on or building, you know, anything like that. Like none of these trucks are really gonna be like the best thing for that. And like I said, with what I spent in diesel alone last month, which is $1,200, I could make a payment that's only 350 bucks on like a brand new car and only spend like 200 bucks a month on fuel and then still in the end I'm still saving hundreds and hundreds of dollars on driving that vehicle because not to mention you know it's just yeah you guys see how it adds up quick so that's why I'm buying this particular vehicle you guys will see it soon but like I said my main points are I don't want to have to you know have a vehicle that isn't always available and when I'm gonna be building these trucks coming up here, none of them are gonna be fuel efficient, none of them are gonna be like super uh, readily available if I'm gonna be building them and doing stuff to them. Um, so I just wanted to have something that I can count on to always get in and just go, and it doesn't matter what day of the week, it's gonna be available, it's gonna get good fuel mileage, and I can cruise and cruise and throw tons of miles on it, thousands and thousands of miles, and it's not gonna be like, I'm throwing thousands of miles on a mint truck or you know anything else of the sort of that, you know what I mean, so it's just, that's just the goal behind this vehicle. So anyways guys, enough talking, enough ranting. You guys will see the vehicle very soon. Well if you can hear me over the sound of the wind, bam, there's a car. Now, before everybody freaks out, they're gonna be like, oh my gosh, you bought a freaking Chevy Malibu. Yes, I did. Yes, I did. And yes, I still have the Longhorn. 
at least for now, and the first gen, and the other first gen. But this is what I bought to make trips back and forth to see my girlfriend and also I'm um, just traveling in general because I put a ton of miles on a vehicle, quick. I never used to, but now in my current situation, I, I put a ton of miles on a truck and um, regardless as if I, you know, if I bought an OBS Ford or I am stuck with the red first gen or the Longhorn, you know, regardless, in the two-wheel drive truck, none of those trucks would I really want to just rack tons of miles on fast. Um, especially not with the prices of fuel and stuff when you drive that much and when you drive that much Diesel at 340 a gallon gets pretty expensive. Like I said, I probably already mentioned it in this video But you know last month I spent $1,200 in fuel and drove about 6,000 miles So as you guys can know that I mean that gets really really expensive monthly And so this thing alone with what I'd save in fuel prices alone I could make the payment and pay for the fuel in the insurance and I'd still be walking away with hundreds of dollars more than I would if I was just driving you know the Longhorn all the time or any other diesel truck for that matter but but yeah here's the interior not that too many of you guys probably care now that you found out that it's a Malibu but um, I don't know it's nice I wanted to get something that was close as close as I could get to the Longhorn interior it's definitely it's definitely cheaper it's definitely not Longhorn status but nonetheless it's it's gonna be a good car for what I need it for. And I got it. It's a 2016. But it looks it looks dang near brand new. I mean it looks amazing. But that is it. That is the new car. Of course it's push button. Just like anything else nowadays. Anything else pretty much nowadays. So yeah, just a beautiful, beautiful <laughs> run around vehicle. The vehicle itself going down the highway it says it should get 38 miles a gallon so as you know I wanted to get a Challenger V6 all-wheel drive and the reason for that was it's pretty fuel efficient it's got all-wheel drive which I like this one only has front wheel and I just love the aggressive styling because it's still like a manly looking car and this is not that I wouldn't consider this a manly vehicle um, at all but in the same sense I was like what am I gonna do with the Challenger and I always make decisions based off of I'm like okay What's my return gonna be in terms of like, what's it gonna either save me or make me? And how much am I gonna be having to pay out to gain those savings or gain, you know, what I'm gonna get from owning a specific vehicle or, or anything in general. And pretty much this vehicle, I know the Challenger would be cooler, but I'm thinking like, what am I gonna do with the Challenger V6? I'm not gonna make a bunch of cool, exciting content on it. It's, I mean, it's a V6, I could supercharge it, but then I'm just spending tons of money to get like two miles a gallon more. And it's like, it just financially, it, would, it just doesn't make a lot of sense. You know, I'm not gonna give away the Challenger. I'm not gonna, so it's really just gonna be like a car that's, you know, ten, fifteen thousand dollars $15,000 more than this one that gets worse fuel mileage and it's just not worth it. So I'd really just be paying more money out of pocket to still look cool when I'm going down the road. But in the same sense, I've, I, I got to a point where I was like, I, I, dude, I got nothing to prove. I don't care. I'm buying this. It's gonna, it's gonna save me a lot of money in fuel. When I get a Challenger, if I have a car like this to run around, if I get a Challenger, I'm gonna get something that's like nice, like a, like an actual V8, like a nice, a nice one. The only reason I even would consider an all-wheel drive is because of all the driving that I do all year round. But at this point now, I don't know, man. I don't know what's next, but anyways guys, thank you so much for watching the video. I know this is not, probably not what you guys are expecting in the same sense. It's just what you gotta do. It's just what you gotta do. Everybody gets to a point where you're just like, you don't always, you don't always buy something that you necessarily like, feel like that's just what I absolutely want right now. Sometimes you gotta do what you kind of need in the situation, you know what I mean? Like, uh, you know, for this car too, I really didn't have to put like anything down. I think it was like 600 bucks and my payments are like, only 300 some dollars a month so it's really freaking cheap um, and that's all I wanted was a super super cheap payment and just to put tons of miles on this and save money on fuel so that's what I did and that's what I got that's where we're at right now thank you so much for watching hopefully you guys enjoyed that video if you did smash that thumbs up leave your comments down below don't roast me too bad I know it's not uh, it's not ideal but the Duramax is still gonna come just not right now might be a month or two and the OBS is for sure still coming and then depending on which truck we still have left after this giveaway because the giveaway is officially over so thank you guys so much for everybody who participated you guys make the dream work happen what comes next i don't know but not another car we're not buying another car this is just for now and this is just what i'm going to be throwing all my miles on thank you so much catch you in the next video peace